China claims it has developed a missile that can be launched from space, travel at Mach 20, around 13,000 miles per hour, and strike any target on Earth in under 30 minutes. This is no longer science fiction, but a breakthrough in hypersonic glide vehicle HGV technology. More than just a leap in speed, this development could dramatically reshape global military strategy and defense systems. In this video, we explore why this changes everything and what it could mean for the future of warfare. China has made a bold technological leap in missile technology with the development of a hypersonic glide vehicle HGV capable of reaching speeds of Mach 20 or approximately 13,000 miles per hour. This staggering speed enables it to strike any target on Earth in under 30 minutes, drastically shrinking the time an adversary would have to detect and respond to an incoming threat. This isn't just a tactical improvement. This is a total shift in strategic warfare. What separates HGVs from traditional ballistic missiles is their ability to maneuver mid-flight while gliding through the atmosphere at extreme altitudes and speeds. Traditional missiles follow a predictable arc, making interception feasible for advanced missile defense systems. In contrast, HGVs are designed with high lift-to-drag aerodynamic profiles, allowing them to leap or shift paths quickly during their descent, something conventional systems are not equipped to track effectively. China's HGV technology is being spearheaded by the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, PLARF. According to their academic publication in Acta Aeronautica et Astronautica Sinica, the missile can be launched from a variety of platforms, from ground-based launchers to potentially satellites. This level of deployment flexibility significantly broadens the strategic scope of China's strike capability. Instead of relying on visible and fixed land-based systems, China could deploy these missiles from orbit or unexpected angles, complicating adversary detection and response. The core innovation lies in the HGV's control and unpredictability at ultra-high speeds. Reports suggest these glide vehicles can perform complex maneuvers while traveling at hypersonic speeds between Mach 15 and 20. That mobility, combined with the potential for a space-based launch system, presents a nightmarish scenario for military planners worldwide. China's pursuit of this tech signals more than just innovation. It's a strategic message. It challenges the assumptions of traditional deterrence, potentially bypasses the missile shields of rivals, and forces other nations to reconsider the viability of their current defense architectures. The development of hypersonic missiles such as China's new HGV poses a direct threat to the global security architecture. Existing missile defense systems, no matter how advanced, were primarily designed to intercept ballistic missiles with known trajectories, not missiles that can change course at Mach 20. This makes China's new capability not just a faster threat, but a more unpredictable and untraceable one. The HGV speed dramatically compresses decision-making time for adversaries. Typically, a country might have tens of minutes to detect, assess, and respond to a ballistic missile launch. With the HGV traveling at such high velocities and maneuvering mid-flight, early warning systems may only have a few minutes or less to react, forcing rush decisions and increasing the risk of miscalculations. Compounding this, the potential for space-based deployment creates a new layer of strategic ambiguity. China's claim that these missiles could be launched from orbital platforms removes the need for traditional launch facilities. A weapon could appear from above, bypassing radar arcs and detection zones. This leap essentially neutralizes the static design of today's defense networks, which rely on known choke points and fixed trajectories for tracking. Defense experts are particularly worried about the implications for nuclear deterrent stability. In traditional models, the mutual vulnerability of major powers discourages first strikes. But with a Mach 20 missile compressing launch to impact time to half an hour, a country under attack may not have time to verify the nature of the incoming threat before retaliating. This increases the chance of accidental escalation and destabilizes long-standing arms control frameworks. Military analysts also warn that such advances could trigger a new global arms race, with other powers scrambling to develop countermeasures deploy their own hypersonic systems, or invest in early warning satellites, AI-based detection, and laser-based interceptors. But the question remains, can anything really stop a maneuverable object flying faster than a bullet? 
Ultimately, China's hypersonic development is a strategic disruption. It doesn't just alter the battlefield, it redefines the timeline on which future wars could be fought. Despite the dramatic potential of China's new hypersonic missile system, several technical limitations and vulnerabilities could limit its effectiveness in real-world operations. According to a study led by Professor Gui Yang and published by Chinese researchers, one of the most glaring weaknesses is the strong infrared signature emitted by the HGV. At Mach 20, the air surrounding the vehicle becomes superheated, glowing brightly in the infrared spectrum and making it visible to space-based infrared detection satellites and advanced surveillance networks. This visibility undermines the weapon's stealth profile, offering adversaries a chance, however brief, to detect and possibly track the missile in flight. Moreover, while the HGV can maneuver at hypersonic speeds, its maneuverability sharply declines in the terminal phase of flight due to low overload resistance, meaning it can't withstand high G-forces and limited communication bandwidth. These issues could restrict final adjustments during the critical moment before impact, potentially affecting its precision against hardened or mobile targets. On the global stage, these developments have spurred a flurry of activity. The United States and United Kingdom have recently conducted over 233 test runs on a next-generation hypersonic air-breathing engine, aiming to power advanced cruise missiles by the early 2030s. The UK's Team Hypersonics program is working on a weapon demonstrator to deliver game-changing operational capabilities. These Western efforts highlight the urgency to keep pace with or neutralize Chinese advancements. At the same time, there's growing investment in radar and AI-powered early warning systems designed to detect, predict, and track hypersonic threats. China itself has announced work on radars capable of tracking 10 hypersonic objects simultaneously, showing that even the developers of these weapons acknowledge the importance of robust countermeasures. Beyond technology, geopolitical discussions are emerging around the need for international arms control agreements covering hypersonic weapons, similar to treaties that once governed ballistic missiles. Without such frameworks, the rapid pace of development could lead to an unstable and unpredictable global security environment. In short, while China's HGV program is a massive leap forward, it's not without flaws. But it has undoubtedly accelerated a new arms race where the winners won't just be the fastest, but the smartest. China's development of a Mach 20 hypersonic missile marks a significant milestone in military technology, potentially redefining the nature of global warfare. The speed, maneuverability, and deployment flexibility of HGVs challenge existing defense systems and strategic doctrines. As nations grapple with the implications, the urgency to develop countermeasures and establish international norms becomes paramount. The world stands at the cusp of a new arms race, one that demands innovation, cooperation, and a re-evaluation of what it means to maintain global security in the age of hypersonic weapons. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.